It's a nice summer night. You're having a great time, and the mosquitoes come, and they ruin everything. Sometimes candles and zappers just are not going to do the trick, and so you need a little extra help. That's when you have Mosquito Joe. Joining me now are Melissa and Kurt Godwin. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Happy to have you here because I hate mosquitoes. I don't hate mm -hmm. a lot of things, but mosquitoes... <laughs> I think, I think I can say safely that I do, and I think a lot of people do. Why is mosquito control so important? It's not just because they're annoying. Well, there's right? a couple different reasons. Probably the biggest one is people put a lot of money into their properties, and they want to be outside, mm -hmm. and they want to enjoy it in the summer. We only have 17 weekends in the summer here in Maryland, and you want to enjoy them, and mosquitoes ruin that. But secondly, mosquitoes carry a lot of diseases, mm -hmm. are very mm -hmm. dangerous. Per the Gates Foundation, mosquito is the most dangerous animal on the planet Earth. They kill more people in one day than sharks kill in 100 years. So so it's very important to control them. And then thirdly, right now mosquitoes control important in Maryland because we're doing something really cool at the end of the month. It's called Mosquito Control Awareness Week, which we think is cooler than Shark Week. Okay. And we've, <laughs> we've partnered with the American Red Cross, the Chesapeake region. So for the last week of this month, anybody who gets mosquito control, we donate 10% to the American Red Cross. Really? So it's a great cause and you get your yard protected, you're not getting bit up, and you're helping the Red Cross. Right. Well, I mean, okay, so that's a win-win. You're protecting Absolutely. yourself and you're helping the community. Exactly. But talk about your yard. What are some of the treatments that we can that we can use to like get rid of mosquitoes in our area? Okay, so at Mosquito Joe, we like to say we make outside is fun again. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, protect our customers with uh, a barrier spray. Uh, it'll actually eliminate the mosquitoes run right on contact. Then it has a residual effect for three weeks. For Anytime three weeks. a mosquito lands in something we treat, it'll be eliminated. But it's not just mosquitoes. It's also fleas, ticks and stink bugs as well. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask you. We got kids here, we've got pets at our home, we think about the environment. Is this safe for all of them? Absolutely. The uh, product that we use is very low in toxicity, so it only um, targets the insects that we actually target. Um, so your pet owners love us because we're getting the fleas and ticks. Uh, yes. Homeowners love us because they're children, they can feel good that they're outside. And I think now, too, there's this concern about bees. We don't want to hurt the bees. So this is something you're saying that the actual um, toxins are targeted for specific insects. Yeah, I mean, we, we, and we are very bee conscious. Pollinators are very important in our community. So we are, we are very much work to avoid problems with bees. And right. we teach our guys to avoid bee problems uh, so that we're try, trying to be as bee friendly as yeah, possible in the course of our treatments, yes. Right. Okay, so another question, I don't like to waste money. So if I get this <laughs> treatment for my house and then it rains, is that gonna be a problem? No, it's not gonna be a problem. Okay. What we do is we make sure we spray with before it rains. But once the product goes on, it adheres to the foliage just like your fingernail polish. It can't oh. be wiped off, rubbed off, licked off, or washed off. It just sits there in the foliage and when a mosquito lands on something we've treated, it is eliminated. The only factor with rain is that rain does bring more mosquitoes. Yes. So in summers like last year, we had more rain than ever in the state of Maryland. We had about a 300% increase in the population. So sometimes it takes a little longer to work when there's rain, but it still works even if it rains, you know, half hour after we've been there. You might need more treatment, but it's not because it's washed away. That's correct. Got it. That's a really good analogy, though, about the nail polish because yeah. right. now I can visualize what exactly it is. Right. Okay, so what can homeowners do to help this problem? So homeowners can uh, make sure they keep their yards clean, uh, meaning rid of all the water, all the standing water on the property, uh, old leaves, things like that, rake them up, get them, get rid of those. Okay. If you've got kids' toys outside and it does rain, make sure you go out and um, dump over those toys. Dump over trash can lids. Just get rid of all the standing water. That's actually really smart because I think as parents we forget about those things. Maybe mm -hmm. the big things about trash cans but not right. the little scoops and the toys. And, and, and to illustrate the point, Here's a you know soda cap. Yes. A mosquito, female mosquito, can lay eggs in this soda cap with a half an inch of water. Yeah. And they can lay 300 eggs at a time. That's disgusting. This thing yeah. could have a thousand <laughs> mosquitoes in five to 14 days. Oh no! I will never look at a bottle cap the same again. So right. the point is to get rid of the standing oh, water in your yard and anything that will gracious. hold it. Kurt, you drove that fact home. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Give Mosquito Joe a call and get your first treatment for $39.99 so that this is not you with this bottle cap. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.